Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Multi Value University. In this video, I will show you the features and functionalities of Rocket MV Basic for Visual Studio. Please note the content in this video is provided for informational purposes only. I am Yunpu, a software engineer in Rocket Software. I'm very excited to have this chance to show you our ideas about our new product. And we really want to hear your feedback and suggestions. For development tool, there are many necessary features. But the most important one is keywords highlighting. The traditional development tool of BASIC is line editor even could not provide this feature. So highlighting is our first task, including the functions, statements, strings, comments, and so on. The screenshot is a preview of this feature. As a programming language, there are so many functions and statements in BASIC. Sometimes we also need to run YouTube commands. The grammar and functionality of many statements are very difficult to remember. Too much time is wasted on checking the documentation. So we believe it will be useful if we could view detailed information of basic functions, commands, and statements inside VS Code. The hover feature would help us. During typing, move the pointer over a function or a statement. Its detailed description would be displayed, including grammar, parameters, and samples. There is no need to check the user menu. The MV Basic extension already in the VS Code marketplace is lack of this feature. But we think this feature is very important. You could see the preview of this feature in this screenshot. Basic language has a very long history. And as I know, many existing basic programs are very long, very big. Thousands of lines program fail is very common. It's less convenient to view such long fields. So we believe a code folding feature is very important. For a very long subroutine or function, maybe you don't want to view its implementation. You can just fold it. It will be much more convenient when go through the program fail. This feature also works for some statements. For example, if, loop, read, write, or open. And sometimes you may want to look at subroutines or functions implementation, but you don't know where the implementation code is or how to locate a related field. Another feature, go to definition and pick definition will help you. Through this feature, you can easily hover the pointer to a function or a subroutine. Right click, then select go to definition to jump to the implementation code. I'll select Peak Definition to view the content in an embedded window. This also works for variables and labels. The screenshots in this deck are the preview of these two features. You could see an unfolded subroutine in the first screenshot. In the second screenshot, this subroutine has been folded. And in the call statement, you can see the implementation of another subroutine could be displayed in another window. Next useful feature is to show the outline of a basic program field. This is also a very convenient functionality for huge fields. Sometimes there are too many functions, labels, and subroutines in a basic program field. When reading code, developer needs to scroll up and down to review the content. 
Outline provides a convenient method to locate to specified content quickly. When open a file, you could find all variables, labels, functions, and subroutines listed in an outline window. Just click the item. The cursor will jump to the related code line. We also have some other features. For example, code formatting. Through code formatting, you can resolve many problems with poor code readability. Adjusting the indentation and correcting the code format. These are the basic functionalities of this feature. We also hope to format the code according to the flavor. Another feature is to list and view the cataloged basic fields. As you know, the cataloged fields may not belong to current account, but sometimes basic program fields include them. If so, it's difficult to locate a cataloged field. We hope to list all cataloged fields through this feature, so that developers could view the content very easily. And through the go to definition, pick definition feature, user could locate to the correct cataloged fields. This provides much convenience to read and debug the basic code. Send reference and rename are also important features. Just like we mentioned before, a basic field may refer to some fields in other accounts. For example, if I want to modify the parameters of a subroutine, then the friend reference feature could help list all references of this subroutine in all fields. If I want to modify the name of a variable, the rename feature would ensure all places where the variables is referenced are updated, and comments and quoted string would not be impacted. Auto complete. This is another very important feature about editing experience. In an editor, auto complete function can provide developers with great convenience. In the past, developers needed to remember the names of each variable and function during development. Otherwise, they might encounter various completion errors. Then autocomplete came into being. This is a feature in which an editor predicts the rest of a word a user is typing. It suggests a list of words based on first typed letters. It can save developers a lot of time and speeds up the development process. Now we will bring this feature to basic. Please refer screenshot 1. It's the most basic functionality of autocomplete. However, our product doesn't stop here. In addition to variables, functions, and statements, we also help to do more in autocomplete. We call it autocomplete everything. We want a more powerful autocomplete feature. As you know, there are many data fields under an account in our database server. In the development of basic applications, it's inevitable to read and write these data fields. So we hope that auto completion would also work while operating these fields. In this screenshot too, one type the keyword open. The editor will infer that the developer wants to open a data field. Then a list of data fields and their current account would be popped up. Furthermore, when write basic code to read and write a data field, we hope the editor could auto-complete the record name. In the screenshot 3, 
when read data from a file. If typing a record ID, editor will pop up a list of the record's ID in the opened file. This powerful feature will rely on the strong support of YouTube server. It can be seen from the side that our database products are still very powerful. We hope this autocomplete feature can help developers to develop basic applications faster, better, and easier. We will also continue to explore more possibilities in this direction. We have talked about many features related to code editing. These features can help us write basic programs better. However, no matter how good editing features are provided, errors are always inevitable during programming. In our product, we hope to provide a better error checking and correction experience. A base feature of error checking, code with syntax error, will be highlighted. From the screenshot, we can see there is a syntax error in the read statement, and the entire line of code is marked by a red line. One move the mouse to the place where there is a syntax error, the error message will be popped up. Meaningful error and warning messages will be provided. In this screenshot, the error is the read statement is lack of an AND terminator. At the same time, for some common errors or high-frequency syntax errors, for example, missing keywords, wrong format, or uninitialized variables, we would like to provide a quick fix feature to help developers correct the code easily and don't need to spend too much time to studying the basic syntax. Still for the syntax error in the screenshot, one click the quick fix button and then the terminator will be added to the read statement automatically. Besides, all syntax errors will be listed in a problem window, which can help you locate to the code line quickly. We also want to provide an integrated terminal to the developers. During development, sometimes we need to view some fields in YouTube server, or get some information from system, or just want to test the basic programs. For example, we want to view the content of a dictionary field, or check the version of YouTube database. At this time, we need to switch to a terminal application to connect to YouTube server. We hope developers could do one-stop development in our product, which means there is no need to switch to other development tools. So this feature is necessary. You can connect to YouTube server inside the basic extension and run YouTube commands by using the integrated terminal. It's possible to open multiple terminal windows in one editor, and the experience would be better. Now, let's look at the features related to code building. The basic extension would support compile the basic programs on YouTube server remotely. We will also optimize the compile precise and provide more meaningful error and warning messages and help developers locate to the error quickly. There would be a compile error window list all error and warning messages, just like the syntax error window. Currently, the basic program compilation will stop immediately when an error occurs. If there is an error in the following code, it will not be reported until the next compilation. This is one of our improvement directions. We hope 
all the errors and warnings could be reported in one time compilation. The basic program also could run on YouTube server remotely. Output could be displayed in the integrated terminal. It would be possible to personalize your launch configuration view through this feature. For example, you can set some environment variables before running, or clean the environment after running programs. Another important functionality is debugger. Here I need to tell you, the MVBasic extension which provided by our competitor doesn't support compile, run, and debug functionalities. BDT supports debugging, but some problem exists and is not perfect. But we will provide a more powerful debugging environment, which based on the debug adapter protocol. What is debug adapter protocol? It defines abstract protocol used between a development tool and a debugger. The idea behind the DAP is to abstract the way how the debugging support of development tools communicates with debuggers or runtimes into a protocol. The DAP makes it possible to implement a generic debugger for development tool that can communicate with different debuggers via debugger adapters. And debug adapters can be reused across multiple development tools, which significantly reduces the effort to support a new debugger in different tools. Like LSP, DAP is also open source and community driven. More and more IDEs start to use DAP in their debuggers. For example, Emacs and SIA. We will provide all features and functionalities related to debugging, including but not limited to site breakpoints, watch variables, view variables, step in, step out, and step over, attach, pause, and continue, and so on. We will strive to provide a better debugging environment. These are the features of our product. Our basic programming extension will provide a very easy to use basic editor, which gets most part from YouTube server. A more powerful debugging environment fully support the AP. Integrated terminal, help developers to access U2 server easily. Improved build precise, which help developers solve warnings and errors and run basic programs remotely. The powerful scalability of VS Code and the built-in version control tool Git also provide us with strong support. All these features, functionalities, and benefits constitute our product, a modern one-stop development tool, Rocket MV Basic for Visual Studio. This is all the content of this video. Thanks for watching. We really want to hear your feedback and suggestions. Thank you.